All right, well, I'm here in Los Andes, uh, Chile, and this morning's objective is to get the motorcycle into a shop. We're going to push it over there. It's about two or three blocks, and we're going to push the bike. And when I say we, I'm talking about Martin and Manuel, the two Argentinian gentlemen that are helping me out. Uh, so I got to get over there and hurry up and help because it's not pretty fair to let them do all the, let them do all the work. But I wanted to get this video introduction in. And uh, so uh, let's see what happens. Let's see if I get out of this town and um, get the bike fixed. Well, after pushing the bike to two different shops with uh, Manuel and Martin, I did the dough head move, forgot to bring the bike key. They're pushing it to the third shop and uh, I'm blitzing back to get a key for the bike. I got distracted with needing to pay for the bike or for the rooms and uh, I got distracted and I brought the room key but I forgot to bring the bike key so I'm going back they're continuing forward to the third shop first shop had the mechanic the, the shop was closed plus the mechanics on vacation the second shop just has parts they don't pepes doesn't actually do work so they're walking to the next pepes which uh, mechanic hopefully will be there to do the work. So let's just see. Well, I'm here at Pepe Yamaha to see if I can get my bike fixed. We'll see what the story is. Well, since they're working on the bike, across the street is a jumbo. And I'm a little hungry and I feel like sitting or getting a drink or something because uh, I feel like this energy just sinking out of me. So anyway, I'm gonna go inside and see what's there. Wow. Jumbo looks like big supermarket. Oh, but they got a restaurant cafeteria. And a big jumbo here. Woohoo! Oh, it's like a it's like a big ass Walmart. Yeah. Bread. Pastries. A lot more pastries. They've got chicken and steak going up already. They've got fish. They've got lots of meat options. Here looks like a few vegetable options. Coffees, more pastries. People love their pastries here. Some drinks, of course. Okay, so I needed to get my phone uh, Intel chip recharged and in Chile what you do is once you have your chip you have to go somewhere to put money onto your card and then you go to the Intel chip and you can click what package you want to buy. So like in my case I bought, what the heck did I buy? I ended up buying uh, 20 gigabytes for 30 days so that I can you know search it and everything like that. Anyways, that's what you got to do and that's how it works here. Well, the guys here at Yamaha tell me that the spark plug uh, vibrated loose and shot up like a rocket into the gas tank area. So we're going to replace that spark plug, get a new one, and hopefully I'll be on the road or on the bike. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so this is Martin. Martin. Manuel. So easy. I don't know why the Aussies can't do it. And uh, these guys saved my bacon. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, these gents are from Buenos Aires. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yep. Perfect. All right. We're here at the Hotel Rakue. And the bike is fixed, so we get on with it. We're at 26,400 kilometers. And I'm going to head to Santiago.
lo siento. Patente extranjera. La placa. Ah, la placa es. Sí. Extranjera. Extranjera. Sí, con Canadá. ¿Cuesta más o menos? Le faltan 100 pesos. 100 pesos. Sí, dale 1100. 1100. ¿Cuesta más? ¿Por qué extraño? Porque es que van el este y el otro viaje juntos. Ah. ¿Se podría hacer un poquito más adelante para ver la placa? No entiendo, es lo cierto. Si sí, se puede correr un poquito más adelante para yo ver la placa. Ah, tú necesitas. Sí. De Canadá. Primero tiempo. <risa> Necesito mucho tiempo, información. ¿eh? No te preocupes. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Ah. Muy bien. Con ese, con el ticket, no tienes que pagar el otro peaje. ¿Necesita este? Sí, en el otro peaje, para no pagarlo. No necesito de pagar más. Pero necesite esta para persona. Para el próximo año. Ah, muy importante. Gracias. come in. This is the front lobby area. A nice area to relax in. I don't know what's behind the door. I guess I can peek. Oh. Well, this is the hostel, but it's more like a hotel hostel. I don't know what I got in here. Oh, it's just a shoe rack. And then we got the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom. And the shower. And down we go outside. That's the bike. All right. And I need, I need to go and look for tires.
Hey man, is this where you look for tires? Yes. In here? It's right here. Ah, okay. You yeah. did, 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 did uh, put the model set here. Ah, perfect. Nice bike. Did you change the color? Yes. <laughs> it's a good combo. Let's see. They can help me with tires. <laughs> it's a pretty hidden place. This is the Motorcycle District. We will see. Anyways, I'm gonna have myself a oyster mushroom burger and fries. And uh, the bike is right there. So we'll see how this all turns out. Gracias, señor. Check out this cold pork. No, it's not cold pork. It's oyster mushrooms and onions. But it looks good. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Well, what a day. Uh, started in Los Andes, Chile. And uh, first thing we had to do is get a little bite to eat. And then take the bike and uh, push it uh, to three various shops before we found one that could actually work on it. And they discovered that the spark plug had uh, vibrated loose after all this time, 26,000 kilometers so and was just hanging on by a thread and boom, shot up. And they said, man, really dangerous because that, it could shoot up. There's two things that are really dangerous there. One is the gas tank, it could boom, hot thing going into the gas tank, that can make a boom. And the other thing is uh, me, directly up into me, like an explosion. So it's um, fortunate, I'm a lucky cat again, that uh, nothing happened. They fixed it. Uh, I got my phone card uh, recharged. I learned that process. And uh, then the drive here was really quick, uh, quite easy. And uh, you know, got accommodations and went looking for tire. And I have found tire for tomorrow morning. And then what else? I think that's it. It was a nice, short, easy day for you guys. I'm tired, I'm poop, the heat. I drove all around uh, Santiago looking all over the place for these tire shops and motorcycle shops and accommodations and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up, click the bell, bing, bing, so that you're given notification when a new episode is released. Subscribe, it makes it really easy to find the show that way. And share it with your friends. It's great to share things with your friends. Leave me a message, because I love hearing from you guys. And, oh my goodness. And the culture ride will continue. I think I'm getting tired, so I think it's good. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day.